Okay, so you have a three to four year old phone and you're thinking the battery is kind of bit I need to get a new battery. But then you come across this video and you see CPU underclock, say battery? And today, we're really gonna find out you get extra battery life by CPU underclocking. I recently did this test on my very own phone, Google Pixel XL, the original one from 2016, which is of course four years old now, and the battery of course is degrading. So I went ahead and installed custom ROM with a custom kernel, went ahead and installed kernel auditor, and underclocked my CPU with three different tests. This test number one of course is no overclock, I just let YouTube run on it from 100% to 0%. My battery I got on that was three hours. Pretty, pretty bad. Test number two, I dropped it down from stock, which is 1.5 gigahertz and 2.1 gigahertz because there are two different clusters of cores. So then I went ahead and lowered them all to 1.5 gigahertz and also the other set of cores to 1.3 gigahertz. After that, believe it or not, my battery increased from three hours to five hours. Incredible. I was speechless. Now, you may be thinking, oh, your phone is a lot slower. No, no. Cause that brings me to the third test. I dropped it down to one gigahertz and 1.3 gigahertz. And yes, you will notice a noticeable drop, but if you drop it by a very, 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 very low underclock, like for example, my Pixel XL came from 2.1, 2.2 gigahertz to 1.5 gigahertz, and 1.5 gigahertz to 1.3. In the end, I had no performance loss, and I got freaking almost double the battery life. Now in the future, I really want to test this out and then use a flagship device. Let's say I got the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and then what would happen if I underclocked the CPU there, since it already has a massive battery and very, very good specs, would decreasing the processing speed give me like quadruple the battery? I don't know, that's for a future video, and I'll see you guys later, and peace out.